And in Rock County, the Janesville School District won't be closing its budget shortfall with money from the teachers union. News 3's Margo Spann has more on the impact of the district's decision not to reopen teachers' contracts. The Janesville School District needs $2.1 million to balance this year's budget, money that could have come from its teachers. We're, we're willing to work with the district in any way we can, um, that, but opening the contract is not one that the executive board has made the determination as one of the options, no. The Janesville Education Association's 18-member executive board voted not to reopen their contract. JEA President Dave Parr says the board's decision was based on feedback from its members. Very few members have expressed any interest in opening the contract or even discussing opening the contract. And when I say very few, less than five members, and we have 750 members. We're disappointed. Always hopeful we could use that to help you know, solve some of our budget issues. School Board President Bill Sodeman thinks there could have been a different outcome if all of the teachers were allowed to vote. The JEA's representative assembly is scheduled to vote on the issue next week. I understand they still could call a vote, that if enough teachers would petition for a vote, it could happen. But we don't expect that to take place as far as we know. The district will now have to look at using some of its reserves, raising taxes, or making additional cuts. We know that there are problems in Janesville, but we also know that they, um, we are the school. This is a community problem that needs a community solution. The JEA's Representative Assembly will meet on September 12th. They're expected to vote to see if there's enough interest to take this issue to their entire group of teachers. Now, both the school board as well as the JEA tell me that they're not expecting their vote, the Representative Assembly's vote, to be different from the recommendation made by the executive board. Margot Spann reporting from our Rock County Bureau tonight. Margot, thanks.